myself Besti Goshi. We will study physics. Good morning all of you. Today we are going to learn second chapter of physics. That is nothing but physical quantities and its measurement. By hearing this two word we can analyze all this chapter is based on physical quantity and its measurement. Now what is physical quantity? Physical quantity. Those quantities can, that can be measured is called a physical quantity. Once again, those quantities that can be measured is called physical quantity. For example, length, time, mass, temperature. They are the four most basic physical quantities. Which are they? Length, mass, time and temperature. Considering to this, we deals with measurement. Now what's a measurement is? Measurement is nothing but it is a comparison of unknown quantity with its known fixed quantity of its same kind. What it is? It is a comparison of unknown quantity with its known quantity of its same kind. For example, if we want to measure the length of a notebook. What we will do? What are the measuring devices? There are two measuring devices to measure the length. One is measuring scale. The other is measuring tape. Now please guess what you will use to measure the length of the notebook. Whether you will use a measuring scale or a measuring tape. Absolutely, you are right. You will use measuring tape. For example, measuring tapes, you can see, it's nothing but given in my hand. This can be either of wood, steel or plastic. They are the terms to use the measurement. We gradually use measurement in centimeter. What we will place? We will take the edge of one point on the one end and another edge on the other point. Now, just measure with me. Yeah, you are right. We will get 15 centimeter as its length. Now, we learned about physical quantity and its measurement. Now, we have to learn about the quantity, its magnitude. The value that can be obtained on measuring a quantity is called its magnitude. The value that can be obtained on measuring its quantity is called measuring magnitude. Here you can see three system of units, SI units, its symbols and... So before that, if you want to find out the measurement, what are the two basic things which you require? That's nothing but unit and its number. Therefore we will multiply N u what is n u small n and u these are the two units n stands for number and u stands for unit okay then next is choice of unit for that it should be of a convenient size the very first property and the second it should be universally acceptable okay then we can say about the three systems of unit what are the three systems of unit CGS, FPS and MKS. What are they? CGS, FPS and MKS. First one, CGS. That is nothing but centimeter, gram, second. Next, foot, pound, second. Next, meter, kilogram, second. For if the symbols are written on the either side, you can see they deals with length, mass time what they are dealing with length mass time so they are symbols meter gram second here foot pound second and next meter kilogram second is that clear next we will move on to the si units have you ever heard about si units what are the si units they are sets of unit universally acceptable they are sets of units universally acceptable. They are said as standard international unit. What are they said? Standard international unit. 
in short we say them or we call them SI units. Clear? Now why are these SI units implemented? For the four basic physical quantities. For length, mass, time and temperature when we deal with them and we talk about them we use SI unit. For that we will see the length, mass, time and temperature of which you can see the what is given? SI unit. What are they? Meter for length, then kilogram for mass, second for time, Kelvin for K and for temperature. What are they? They are the symbols. Small m for meter, kg for kilogram, s for second and k for Kelvin. About SI unit. Now, there are basic rules to write SI unit. What are these basic rules? There are seven most basic rules. How many? Seven. Of which the very first is we can write the units, SI units in a small letters. Second unit, when they are named after a scientist, named after a scientist, we have to write a capital form. For example, temperature, what was its unit? Kelvin. Kelvin is a name of a scientist. So we have to use SI unit as capital K. But when we write them in words, what we are using? We can write them in small letters. Never use a plural form of units. Never use SI unit in a plural section. Then what we have to learn? All about when they write in words, we have to write them in small letter. Next about the spacing. You can see it is written N U. Or we can say N S. Now what is N? Newton. S second. You can see I have just leave the space. Next rule is that whenever two CSI units are written, we have to always leave certain space. Never write, this is the correct form. If you write N and S in a, without space, it would be wrong method. Yes? And the last one is that we have to use a negative power. For example, what is the formula for finding out speed? It's nothing but meter upon second. What it is? Meter upon second. If it is written by division, dividing form, meter upon second, I have to place second above. So what I will use? I will convert it and write in a negative form. That is nothing but M S minus 1. Clear? That are the basic rules regarding SI. So let's have a short recap about it. Like mass, length, time and temperature. But what is a physical quantity? If a quantity possesses these two properties, then it is a physical quantity, its numerical magnitude, and the unit in which it is measured. If we say that the height of a student is 165 centimeters, then it is representing both the properties of a physical quantity, i.e. 165 is the numerical magnitude, while centimeters is the unit in which the height is measured. Remember, if we only state height as 165, then it is not a physical quantity since it does not tell us about the unit in which it is measured. So it is a must for physical quantity to have both magnitude as well as unit. Physical quantities are divided into two categories, base quantities. Base quantities form the base or foundation of other physical quantities. In other words, the quantities are the basis with which derived quantities are expressed. These quantities are length, mass, time, temperature, intensity of light, electric current and the amount of a substance. Derived quantities. Derived quantities, therefore, are those which are expressed in terms of base quantities. These quantities include area, volume, velocity, acceleration, force, pressure. Hope you understood all about physical quantities and its measurement. That's all for today. Thank you. Take care, be safe.